Kids and Cadets, welcome back to Tommy Time 2013 Honda. This has got the uh, GCV 160 model number of this fine looking machine. HRR 2169VKA, Victor Kilo Alpha. So the deal with this thing is, is I paid 20 for it. It came in a package deal with this snapper, the 86 snapper. We did a video on this fine machine. I've been working on a few projects today and I decided to look at this thing. Um, the rear wheels, it's a rear wheel drive. It won't roll backwards. I still have to service the axle. It's most likely a uh, rust buildup, not letting it roll backwards. So I went through the carburetor. This is the carburetor that came off it. So I took off the um, little Phillips head screw here. This happens to be the secondary jet, and you should be able to poke through that with... Um, a small wire so what I do to, to check this is I take a little uh, carb clean and let it rest on that brass jet after it's I feel it's cleaned out if I can see the carb clean slowly move down the uh, jet then I know it's clear if I can still see the um, cleaner just sitting there doing nothing I got a plug plug jet so what I did was I kept trying to open it up and I finally put a, a small micro bit in there and unfortunately it broke off in there after I um, ultrasonic cleaned it a couple times I kept picking and picking blowing air through picking it with a small bread wrapper that I gave up, went to the micro bit and broke it off. So I know it's not going to run right. This thing had a, a running issue when, when we were messing with it. So I grabbed another um, carburetor out of a, a box and I had marked it on the box. Um, went through ultrasonic cleaner one time and it's still not idling properly. So what I did is ultrasonic a couple more times on this one and uh, made sure my secondary idle jet here was free and clear and it was and um, blasted out everything so I think maybe I got this one cleaned up good enough we're going to see here in a minute if it runs like shit I'm going to throw both of these in the trash and order another aftermarket carburetor for this 2013 so let's add some fuel to this thing earlier this morning I degreased it with my um, carb um, grill cleaner degreaser it's been sitting out here in the sun drying off so it looks pretty good the oil I may have changed it I just checked it now when we got enough oil and it was uh, brand new Maybe I did that initially. Who knows? It's hard to keep track of all this junk when it keeps coming in the door. So let's uh, gas this up with some monster juice. What do you think? Mr. Monster is going to make sure I do it right. So hopefully the bowl doesn't leak on this thing. We'll try pulling on it and, and see if this thing will idle for us. Otherwise, I'm going to go to the big jungle company tonight or Flea Bay and get another aftermarket carb because I don't have this style carb. These uh, GCV 160s have different linkages sometimes there's a plastic linkage here sometimes this is a flat plastic 
So you got to be careful. You just can't order a GCV 160. You got to match it up to what you have because there's probably three or four variations here on linkages, how these things are set up for the choke and the throttle. Capiche? <clears throat> okay. Let's get serious. Like I said, I know I got oil. Put my fuel switch to on. Give a little baby's bottom dry test here. I don't see any dripping fuel, so that's a bonus. We are drier than a baby's bottom, so nothing there. So let's let's pull on this thing. Oh, by the way, this came out of the tank, so it did need to be cleaned out. I let um, the gas in it run out. When I saw how dirty it was, I removed the tank, put a little gas in, and then tipped it upside down, and then forced some compressed air in there to get the rest of the snot out. But that's that's quite a bit of snot, and the um, fuel looks a little bit on the brown side. So whoever was fueling this has got a contaminated gas can, it would appear. Okay. So let's, let's rock and roll. What do you say? Okay, I'll take that any day of the week with the Mountain Dew and a chocolate donut. It started off as it should. It's not running tip top, but I think it's good enough to get by. There is a little bit of fluctuation in the RPM. There was puffing a little smoke. And I think it was dirt gobbers in there maybe. Could have been dirt gobbers getting blasted out. So this has got the um, smart drive control. I had pointed to the rear wheels. I lifted off the back end and I engaged it and nothing a couple of times. And then finally on the third time it um, started moving the wheels. So we need some um, transmission work done here we got to go through the rear wheels here grease up everything imaginable get rid of the surface rust on the axle because this thing doesn't want to roll backwards that has to be taken care of or harvey the homeowner won't be able to turn around at the sidewalk so at least we got it running we were able to salvage that carburetor 
did some more cleaning on that and I'm happy I don't have to go to Flea Bay and get a secondary. Oh, I spoke too soon. Look at that. Darn it. Darn it. Let me just see if this needs to be tightened up a quarter turn. Otherwise, I still have the gasket in the bowl from that other machine. Oh, you know what? It was my screw up. I got two gaskets here. One stuck to the bowl and I was supposed to put this one on this machine. So you know what? Tommy time screw up. Let's save some gas. And uh, let's put this stupid paper gasket on. I feel like a dummy. At least it's uh, something I have access to right here. I don't have to take the uh, engine apart. So let me get down here and get busy with this. Use my Georgia Bulldogs rag and take this thing apart. So I spoke too soon. So when I initially looked at this thing, it wasn't leaking gas. Maybe it took a while for it to fill the bowl. Okay. If this is the only issue I have to deal with with the fuel system. See, that's nice and clean. I'm not going to complain. If I can get this thing on here without pinching anything, it's going to be a miracle. I'm going to fish the bowl and the gasket into place. Hopefully. Hopefully everything goes where it should. Okay, looks like the uh, bowl's level and not lopsided. Put my nut in and keep an eye on it, make sure it goes up nice and level. We'll give it a little hand tightening on my open in. Not too crazy. Okay, turn my switch to on and we don't have shit leaking. So let me give it a minute. Let the bowl fill up. We'll start it again. Let the vibration go to work. Make sure it's not leaking and then I'm send you guys home okay still dry oh and I even think I got a the cover for this I, I was messing around earlier and I found a, a Honda cover on another machine and I thought where the hell does this thing go well there it goes. I think this is it. I'm going to change the filter. This is just temporary for starting purposes. Voila, we got a complete unit now. Okay, let's let's start the turd. Well, that's not good. Started and it's doggy.
Oh, that went that went south. Should have had enough fuel in there. There's some in there. Are we suffocating it with this dirty filter? Let's take it off and see. We're still dry. I hope this wasn't a one and done. Ran once and now we're done. Okay, this is weird. Just for shits and giggles, these Honda tanks are kind of wavy at the bottom. Just in the slim chance that little bit of fuel isn't enough. Now that's that's like um, a third of a tank, so we should have no issues now. If it doesn't start, I'll happy juice it. See if it fires off with that, but it should now. Fuel valve is on. is weird it's barely given us 50 rpm and then quits well this project isn't done Okay, with that shot of juice, it should have worked. We got an NGK plug. I'm going to remove that right now and, and see do we have a sporadic plug here because that happy juice should have done us good and it done us bad Hmm. Looks like it's running rich. The um I wonder if the little thermostatic choke wax thing is working. It r did run for a second and the um choke lever here is closed. The wafer is closed. Maybe it didn't heat up enough. Let me put a clamp on the bail bar and then pull over this thing and see if we got some sparky. Okay, how can I do this? Okay, we got spark.
Let me just take a wire brush to this, put it on, and then attempt this charade one more time. Hondas can be finicky. I've noticed. Won't be helpful if I tightened it and not removed it. Okay. Feels like it wants to start and then nothing. Okay, that was a wet squirt. It needs to start now or else. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to turn this to off, grab my open end and, and see if the uh, bowl is full, full of gas. Because if we got gas here, we got to go through the carburetor again or order another carb. Something ain't right. Yeah, we got gas pouring out of the um, nut, so it's not an issue of any blockage up here. I'm going to order another carburetor. The other one's shot because of the idle jet is blocked now, and this one here, after cleaning it, in the ultrasonic cleaner a couple times. I thought it was gonna work for us and it's not. So I'll order another carb and we'll come back to this thing. Another, another shit show. At least we know what we gotta do. Appreciate you coming out, checking out my channel. Tip your waitress and wait staff. They're doing an awesome job. When we get the uh, new aftermarket carb in, we'll look at this Hilo Romeo Romeo 2169 Victor Kilo Alpha. Hopefully a uh, aftermarket carb will help us out. Thanks. Have a good day today.